Hmm. Interesting. I never noticed that before. <gasps> oh, why, hello. You seem to have caught me indulging in a rogue geek's favorite pastime, looking through an atlas. You can't tell me you haven't had an afternoon where you've just sat down with an atlas or state map and just... consumed. I personally only own one road atlas, the 2022 Rand McNally Road Atlas. I bought it for a few bucks and I can tell you, I've certainly gotten my money's worth. Although atlases and physical maps have existed in many shapes and forms for hundreds if not thousands of years, the first United States Road Atlas was made by Rand McNally in 1924. Since then, they've produced a national road atlas every year up until today, with the 2024 Road Atlas releasing just a few months ago. Atlases are fun to go through if you want a glimpse at every state's road layout. But what if you need something more specific to a certain state? Well, on the other hand, we have... State roadmaps have existed pretty much since state and federal routes themselves have. You know the ones, those stupid maps you can never figure out how to fold back properly once you've folded them out. These maps are state-specific, and while they are far more effective when it comes to in-state travel, in my opinion, they aren't as much fun to look through as a national atlas. Plus, they aren't nearly as practical when you have to plan a road trip across multiple states or, heck, even an entire country. For decades, both atlases and state maps worked somewhat well as maps for navigation and were definitely something a rogue geek could waste their time on if they needed to. However, as we started to progress into the digital age, physical maps just slowly started to fade into irrelevance. Their fate was incoming for years, but it was officially sealed on February 8th, 2005 when Google Maps was released to the public. Yeah, if physical maps weren't dead yet, they definitely were now. Living in a digital age, we sadly don't have a practical need for physical maps and atlases anymore. Does that mean your friendly neighborhood rogue geek won't stop loving these? Heck no, but the public sees these more as fun little gimmicks and souvenirs to pick up at rest stops on road trips than as actual maps nowadays. So, what do I think about it? Personally, I think us rogue geeks should just count our blessings. At least we still have these physical maps. I'm honestly surprised the government hasn't stopped producing these state maps yet, as all the ink you use to print these can't be cheap. We're lucky these things are still around, and I think we should cherish them while we still have them. As you know, these things are going to be gone sooner than later, and we'll miss them when they disappear. But we'll still love them for what they are. Well, mostly.